Jones Nose Trailhead of Mount Greylock State Reservation. Gonna be doing a 17 mile run with about 4,000 feet of climbing. Kind of touring the highlights and highest peaks of the Mount Greylock Reservation and Range. Of course, Mount Greylock being the highest peak in Massachusetts at uh, I think it's 3,491 feet. I've hiked it before, I've never run on these trails. It's a pretty expansive trail system. And Jones Nose is, is about four miles up uh, one of the auto roads you can drive to the top as well. But uh, so I'm probably about 2,500 feet elevation. So about a thousand feet from the top. And I'm gonna take a long way around, hit Greylock, probably three to four miles to go. It's pretty nice up here. In the upper 50s, some uh, fields. This is a pretty, pretty nice parking lot. 2,500 feet off an auto road. I think for seven miles or so, for five to seven miles, pretty gradual and runnable, and then get into some steep and likely technical stuff. Last, last like second half is on the Appalachian Trail, so that'll be fun. Trying out some new stuff. I got a new pack, Solomon. I had a Camelback before, but uh, just wasn't quite enough space. This one looks a little bit more spacious, I think. Uh, no bladder though with this one. So I'm also trying out something new with uh, soft flasks. And I got I got a filter for this one, which is pretty good. So I'm only gonna have two soft flasks, uh, 32 ounces of water. But with this one, I can stop at any stream and just drink from it with the filter on there. Yeah, and then bring the usual hydration or uh, nutrition stuff. Gels, I think I have a couple energy waffles and some chews. Uh, today's nutrition I'm bringing with me. So 17 miles, 4,000 feet of gain. Some steep and technical parts, I think. I'm not sure, maybe three and a half hours moving time, so maybe up to four and a half hours a lap. Uh, yeah, I have the filter flask I filled up with water, and then the soft flask I filled up with a uh, scratch, which I think is pretty good. And then I'll bring two energy waffles, honey stinger gel, a couple goo gels. I've never tried Morton before, got it at a store. Figured why not, gets pretty good reviews and some goo energy chews. So I think that should be on a conservative side more than enough. Yeah, I fill up my pack and then get going. I've only just started, but uh, this is At least this section. Yeah, this is some fields really windy. Whoa. <laughs> Porcupine. Also out for a trail run. See, it's totally quilled up. Hope he uh, moves off the trail. Excuse me, buddy, just move off the trail. <laughs> yep, yep, good. First porcupine I've ever seen in a while. <laughs> Pretty cool. Decent overlook here, over to the mountains over there. I don't know what those are. Um, and came out to the auto road and across that. We're going gently downhill. Pretty runnable trail, not actually too technical, but it's a bit rooty and primitive. And then, yeah, going to cross the auto road. I think it's going to be another three, four miles of runnable trail before the first real climbing and real technical stuff begins.
First view of Mount Greylock. See it up there with the big summit tower and radio tower. So I guess that was probably somewhere around there. It's running on Sperry Road for like a mile and a half, either gradual up or down. Looks like you can see there's quite a bit of climb to do. Just past five miles now, and did kind of a long descent, probably done 2,000 feet of elevation loss and maybe like 600 of gain. So uh, it's been easy so far, but I haven't really done much climbing. I got a big, big one coming up, I believe, Mount Prospect. I think this is a low point of the route. Probably, I'll probably check my watch. And my watch has me at 11.58, and I believe I start at 2,500, 646 feet of gain so far, 1854 loss. I don't normally like to do it like that, but uh, the other way I would have had, I would have been finishing with five miles of uphill, and this type, this way I get to finish with downhill. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you start at such a high trailhead, but I think this was the best way to kind of get a tour of the park without doing ridiculous mileage or 8,000 feet of climbing or something. Trails have been not super technical, but moderately technical. Uh, that last one was a bit steep, very rooty, which makes sense. Huge, huge for it. Pretty nice stream here. Uh, your classic northeast mountain, big stream. Sure, it's cold. That's the trail. Power hugging this. It's too steep to run, and I want to conserve energy. I'm feeling pretty good right now, seven miles in. A thousand feet, it's gone up a thousand feet, down 2,000, but uh, this is a pretty big climb. Prospect Mountain, about 2,600 feet. So that's the first true peak of the day. Uh, although Stony Ledge, the first lookout into the dirt road is also kind of marked as a summit. I don't think that's a true mountain though. This one definitely is. I think that, that was a tough climb. It was about 1200 feet or so in a mile. So that's pretty steep. Power hiked vast majority of it. Uh, felt great at the beginning. Definitely feeling a little bit work now. Uh, fortunately, the descent is more runnable, I think and then make the way up the next one, which is Mount Williams, and then I believe Greylock will be next. But uh, still plenty of climbing to, climbing to go, but I believe I'm over halfway point of elevation gain done. I really love that trail, super primitive, very technical and leaf covered. So uh, I originally was gonna do the opposite direction, so at Greylock first, but uh, I'm really glad I did it this way now, because I get to end with the descent and I don't have to go down that trail. Nice vista here, kind of finished out the Mount Prospect Ridge. Super primitive trail, you know, you can kind of, the branches are poking into you and there's fallen, fallen logs and stuff. So not my favorite, kind of Rudy, or I guess this part's not Rudy, but so far has been. Um, and actually I've come up to the intersection with the Appalachian Trail. I'm gonna be in the Appalachian Trail for the next, so southbound, uh, for the next eight miles or so, including going over Mount Greylock. Although a uh, short detour off Greylock to do a side trail, but mostly Appalachian Trail. It's right here. Continues on that way. It's probably like eight miles or so. Uh, rough estimate to the Vermont border and go through uh, Adams and Williamstown and continue on this way to Greylock. Mount Greylock, 3.2 miles. It's uh, <laughs> a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, I guess. But, uh, 
gonna go down a bit and then back up and now I'll be then I'll be on the Greylock ridge line for good and no super long climbs after that. This is the summit of Mount Williams, about 2,900 feet. Not much. Um, Mount Fitch is next, about 3,100. So Gento climb is probably like a mile away, and then another mile to Greylock with a bit more climbing. Cause it's uh, close to 3,500. But uh, getting there, definitely felt this climb a bit, kind of alternating power hiking and going real easy. Uh, gonna have another gel. I'm starting to starting to crash a bit. But uh, past 10 miles now, so almost two thirds of the way into the route. This is Mount Fitch, more or less, no discernible summit. Um, 11 miles in, so I got six to go. I'm at 3,077 elevation. And I think it's about a mile and 400 feet of gain to the top of Greylock. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. Might go down a little bit, but shouldn't be too much more. Shouldn't be too bad. We're feeling pretty good on this. Well, I don't know, 200, 300 foot climb up this was super runnable. It's a bit technical though. Uh, feeling good now. Six miles to go. Uh, over about 75% of the climbing done, so I think this one should go pretty well. Starting to warm up a bit. I think it's probably 60s, but I should be done before it gets too hot. Summit, highest point of mass, 3491 feet. Uh, I'm at 3700 feet climbing, so I think I have like a short climb to Saddleball Mountain. So the next one on the AT is it's like 90% descent going back, which is nice because uh, definitely starting to get a little worn out. Definitely nice views up here. Officially, Saddleball Mountain, another summit where you just kind of have to guess because there's nothing discerning it. Nice through the pines here. Almost done with the AT. Uh, I think I've got a mile and a half total left, and um, maybe like half a mile left in the AT, and then take that last little bit of, I think, back to the Jones Nose Trail. Uh, so, all descending now. Almost done. Definitely getting a little tired, so glad to be wrapping it up but uh held up pretty well today that's a wrap on that one good uh good estimate on lapse time is a four i was about four and a half hours which is what i predicted kept it moving but uh took breaks to fuel and enjoy the scenery i think i did pretty well in on this one uh you know, i never really bonked 
Felt terrible. Ran most of the runnable stuff. A uh, thousand feet more than the last one, and uh, 17 miles, also the longest trail one I've done in quite a while. Uh, so I think I held up pretty well, feeling so much stronger than the last two where I was just like falling apart on some of the late running. Just gonna wrap that one up. Uh, certainly a very nice state reservation checking out. Great views, varied terrain, much, much higher than uh, Holyoke or Blue Hills. Some of the uh, quieter trails were a bit too primitive uh, for me, like, you know, running into branches and lots of roots and stuff like that. But uh, overall, very nice park. I'll uh, put the final stats up there. And I think next week, so it'll be a similar profile, 18 miles and 4,000 feet of gain. Very, very similar. And that'll be in the Catskills. So excited to return there, get some bigger mountains in.